Welcome to the TI-30XA calculator demonstration. Uh, you should be receiving one of these calculators in the mail to help you with the course. Uh, when you get this calculator, make sure you understand how all the different functions work. We're going to be going over those you're going to need for this class today. Um, the first thing we want to do is uh, convert numbers from regular numbers into scientific and engineering. It's one of the things you have to do in the first week of the course and this calculator is set up to help you do that. What you want to do, let's say we're going to enter uh, 16,500. Okay, this would be a number. Um, they're going to ask you to convert that to scientific notation and then into engineering. The nice thing about it is this calculator will do that for you or help you understand what the correct answer is. So you type in 16,500 just like you would in any calculator. You're basically in the flow section right now. To change it to scientific with this calculator, you'll hit the second button and the five, because above the five, you'll see SCI, which stands for scientific notation. So hit your second button and then five, and it puts it into 1.65 and has a zero four here, and that zero four means times 10 to the fourth power. So it's 1.65 times 10 to the fourth power. That is scientific notation. Again, decimal point between the first two digits and change the exponent to match. Um, if we want to go to engineering notation, we're going to hit the second button and six. If you look above the six, you'll see a capital ENG. That stands for engineering notation. So we hit the second button and then the six, and it puts it into engineering notation. Now, engineering notation is one to three digits in front of the decimal point and a multiple of three on the exponent. So this reads 16.5, and again, it's times 10 to the third power, and you'll see the zero three up there. That means times 10 to the third power. So this is now an engineering notation, and now it's set up for you to put the prefixes in, which you're gonna learn this week. Let's say I need this number, I get an engineering notation number, and I need to put it back into regular number form. Well, all you have to do is hit the second button again and the four. If you look above the four, you'll see FLO, which stands for a flow number, means regular number. So hit your second button and four, and we're back to 16,500. That is how you use uh, the calculator to convert numbers from normal numbers into scientific notation and then into engineering notation. Let's change our number here real quick. Let's use a small number. Let's say we got 0 0.0056. Okay, and they're going to ask you to change this number into scientific and engineering. We're going to do the same thing. So clear our calculator with the on C button and then type in 0 0.0056. Okay, we have it in flow or regular notation right now. We need it in scientific notation. So I'll hit my second button and the five. That changes it into scientific and it says 5.6 times 10 to the minus third. You got 5.6 and a minus zero three at the top right hand corner. Okay, so that has converted it into scientific notation for us. Engineering notation, we're gonna hit the second and the six and that will convert it into engineering. And again, engineering and scientific in this case are the same, the rules follow. Uh, 5.6 times 10 to the minus third. Um, if I need to convert it back, back to a regular number, I'll hit second and four and now I'm back to 0 0.0056. So you're gonna have a lot of homework problems where you have to make these conversions. You can learn the rules and do it yourself, and that's a good idea, but use the calculator to verify you did it right. And as you do that, you're gonna get better and better at converting your numbers. The next thing you need to do with this calculator is to use the E button to enter an engineering notation number directly into the calculator. So let's say uh, we're going to enter um, 56.4 times 10 to the third. And what that is is 56,400. But if you don't know that right off, they give you this, they say, change this number into a regular number. You'd enter 56.4. And how do you do the 10 to the third? Well, this little E button above the seven is how we're gonna do that. When you hit the E button, it sets up that times 10 and then you enter three, and now I have 56.4 EE to the zero third, or zero three. So that's an engineering notation.
From there, I can then hit my second and four and put it back into normal notation. So now I've been able to enter an engineering notation number and then convert it. Let's enter a different one. Let's say uh, one more time for practice. Let's uh, enter uh, 62.1 times 10 to the eighth. Let's do a very big number. How would I do that? Again, 62.1 hit the E button, the E puts in the engineering, and we're going to enter the 8 for the 10 to the 8. And so now we have 62.1 on the calculator screen, and then small number 08. Um, and I, now I can shift that to a regular number, second and uh, 4, and I get the, um, it's a very large number, it looks like uh, 6,210,000,000. Again, that's what we use engineering for, to do very large numbers. Let's do a very small number in engineering. Let's say we do 23.4 times 10 to the minus 4. Okay, how would I enter that? Again, the same thing, 23.4, and you're going to hit the E button and type in the minus 4. There we have, we have it, and if we shift it back to a regular number, we get 0 .00234. So you're seeing that by using the calculator, I can let the calculator do a lot of the work that I'm required to do in this course, especially week one. So we've learned how to use scientific engineering numbers and convert them from regular numbers, and we use, learned how to use the E button in order to enter an engineering number directly into the calculator. Some of your problems are gonna ask you to square numbers. They may even ask you to square engineering numbers. So let's say we got uh, 2.4 times 10 to the minus 2, and they're going to ask you um, to square that. So we'll put a square there, and to square that, you'd have to enter the 2.4, and then hit the E button to put the engineering in, and then minus 2. So we have the 2.4 times 10 to the minus 2, and the square button is 2 above the 8. If you look at the button 2 above the 8, you'll see an X with a small 2 in the upper right-hand corner. When you push that, that will square that number, and it gives you 0 .000576, which will be the answer. So anytime you need to do a square, anytime you see a little 2 in the upper right-hand corner, they are squaring it, use that X squared button. Now, sometimes they're going to ask you to do a square root. Now, a square root would be the same as going minus 2, okay? If they go 2.4 times 10 to the minus 2 to the minus 2 power, that would be a square root. We can square root what we just did here by just hitting the button 2 above the 9. That's the square root button, and it will take us back to where we started. Okay? So that's how you do the squares and square roots. Again, they're just 2 above the 8 and 2 above the 9. Those will answer those questions. Uh, usually once I've shown someone how to do squares and square roots, that makes it easy for them from that point on. In electronics and electricity, there are a lot of reciprocals. And people go, what is a reciprocal? Well, a reciprocal would be uh, 1 over 5 is a reciprocal of 5. Again, a reciprocal is just putting it with dividing it into 1. That's a reciprocal. So if I want to find the reciprocal of 5 here, I would just hit the 1 over x button. The 1 over x button is 2 above the 7. So they ask you for a reciprocal, you'll just hit the 1 over x button. In this case, 1 over 5 is 0 0.2. That is a reciprocal. If I hit it again, I'll go back to 5. Reciprocals of each other, you can go back and forth on them. So that's how you find reciprocals. You're going to have some problems in this calculator, in this electronics class, um, where they have negative power. So let's say we got 5 um, to the negative 2 power. This is the same as, the negative exponent means it's the same as 1 over 5 squared. In other words, the negative just means it's a reciprocal. This is where the reciprocal button comes in handy. How you would solve this, you could just go 5 squared, right, hitting the x squared button we did earlier, and then hit the reciprocal button, and you get 0 0.04. So by using those two simple buttons that we're learning here, you can solve some of these problems just with a few keystrokes. Now you can also go 5, and you can hit the YX button, that's a new button, and it will take any number to any power. And we can hit the YX, and then go to the minus 2, 
and that will give us the same thing, 0 0.04. So a number like this, we could use a couple of different buttons, whichever one you're more comfortable with. You could do the square and then the reciprocal, or just do it into the YX, where you put the Y in first, you hit the Y to the X button, and then you put in the X, and it will do any power that you need to do. And so this, this is the main uh, questions you're gonna run into. Um, and this should help you uh, complete all your course. Be, feel free to ask me questions and I will help you with anything you're struggling with uh, using this calculator. Thank you.